right so um, yeah people just confirm me that you can uh, hear me clearly at your side right great okay so uh, yeah this is the last lesson ict and society right so when it comes to the ict and society we are going to talk about how the uh, ict has used in the society uh, for the goodwill and uh, for the uh, improvements uh, of the society as well as how it is been uh, impact negatively uh, on the uh, society right so there are two different ways and uh, positive and the negative impact so we are going to discuss both so the very first uh, we are going to uh, talk about how ict in entertainment uh, is uh, uh, happens so like is uh, perfected right so uh, when we are doing the first lesson, we just go through a little bit, but uh, we haven't uh, uh, go through those things in detail. So here uh, they are introducing us. So they are telling us some of the uh, uh, popular factors uh, in the society when it comes to the ent entertainments, right? So like, uh, unlike the old days when the ICT is integrated into the uh, entertainment uh, sector, uh it was giving us it, it is it is still giving us a very huge uh changes and some very uh, uh big attractions uh when they integrated the ict with the entertaining so uh, one of those is the three-dimensional uh movies which we have uh, uh, seen already right uh, we have experienced uh, three-dimensional uh, movies right and uh, which will feel us that we are seeing something not on a screen but on the surrounding area right so we need some uh, specific uh, specs uh, glasses uh, to see that so with the help of those uh, uh, specs we will be able to watch the movie in the 3d effect right so I think um, I don't need to uh, discuss it very much uh, how it happens, right? You already experience it uh, in many different ways, right? And um, like uh, nowadays it is uh, uh, like uh, flown away uh, beyond 3D, right? So maybe you have experience uh, there are uh, uh, the other, the other which gives us the experience of 90s, right? And uh, in, in Excel world uh, at uh, Town Hall, uh, they had this uh, 90 experience as well. So 90 means like uh, we can feel what is happening, we can uh, smell what is going on, right? So uh, every day they can then, uh, right so like you actually feel what happens inside the uh, movie, right? So that is something beyond uh, 3D, right? And uh, uh, yeah, this particular thing, holographic image processing technology. Now, this is uh, something very uh, interesting, right? And still it is a little bit uh, a cost, uh, a consuming product right but uh, this is going to be the future right in uh, most of the things like now now we have seen the uh, normal projection using a, a multimedia projector 
right so it is just it is not a 3d one it's a 2d one right but when it comes to the holograms it's a 3d one and capable of many different things right so we can rotate the uh, thing like you are seeing in the iron man uh, movie right so you can rotate it you can see the inside you can decompose the things right i'll show you a very interesting uh, 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 video clip regarding the uh, holograph uh, holographics right uh, and uh, uh, the cartoon films the 3d films yes so like without the computer you won't be able to create a 3d movie right because a 2d movie yes uh, you can do that you can uh, use in a, a paper or something you can uh, uh, illustrate a 2d one but when it comes to the 3d one 3d graphics is a concept of the computer right so 3d graphics won't be able to create without a computer so that means ict is being involved right and uh, digital audio materials like uh, editing the audios and burning to CDs and all these things, right? And uh, recording uh, things and uh, uh, like uh, fine tuning what we have recorded, right? All these things are uh, integrated with them, uh, with the ICT. Even even in the control room, like like you can see in this picture, uh, he is doing it by. Uh, Looking at a screen, so you can control a stick a change can no matter where we come on a video the way Nikki and a Montreal display with right so Seen do a record can no matter control it away. They will take a current. You have to see uh, What are the things or where are the places which it, which it should uh, uh, Smoothly uh, flow and where are the places that it need the edit editions so he has this all he, he he have this all the details he has these all the details on the screen uh like due to due to its uh, its controllers right so he can change the controllers and see uh, whether the uh, recording is going on in a smooth manner right and uh, as well as when it is entertaining this uh, sound system like the surrounding sound systems and all these things will uh, give us the uh, again it will help us to uh, have the experience that beyond the real uh, procession or the real location of the movie right then the surrounding system helicopter screen surrounding system Dakunu petta te egulo vadi pura ite passe sabde deva. Toko tar apit teeri ne vam petti inda lagi hilla. Dakunu pet vam petti inda dakunu petta lagi hingi varuna ha saman. Right. So likewise, uh, it is changed uh, on that manner. And digital games. I don't need to, to tell uh, tell you. You know uh, what this is, right? If you take a smartphone, if you take a, a computer, laptop, or anything. Uh, you will be given the uh, uh, many different games to play on, right? Uh, even myself, I'm a very, uh, 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 I'm, I'm a person who is loving the games very much. Then uh, Otherwise, it's, uh, it is very, very interesting, right? And uh, as you can show in this picture, we're going to may may one then Lanka we keep the company no experience current one, right? So like uh, now he's driving it, and uh, this particular chair will uh, wave according to the uh, driving position. Wala wala linga na kote chair ka kaise na? Wama ta ala uno ta chair ka wama ta ala uno, right? So there are uh, many different things like three D and four D gaming platforms right eva game at my simulation games like up your is a hatter so we can like like okay good akra to shoot in uh games of our chicken also we can take the physical uh gun and point it to the uh, screen which he which has the sen sensors and you can uh, shoot right so screen will sense whether it is uh whether it hit on the correct uh, spot or not right and 
like apart from this entertainment part, uh, even simulation can be used to do the uh, educational part as well. Now, when it comes to the uh, like uh, this uh, aeronautic uh, uh, practices or like the pilot practices or these uh, astronaut practices, they first uh, face on a uh, what we call a simulation. Sometimes they are doing it on the uh, a particular com like like the, like the general computer. Sometimes they are having a particular device uh, where the uh, computer is embedded to it and to show uh, what actually happens. Uh, like it's, it's not what actually actually happens. Uh, it is a simulation, but it feels like real, right? I'll show you some video clips uh, before I move to the new uh, next uh, topic, right? Yes, let me uh, share the things with the, uh, with sound. So you will be able to hear the sounds. Yeah. Uh... Did you promise yourself 2021 would be the year you'd be more productive? So now, uh, yeah, what you are going to see is uh, some some very nice thing or some very uh, uh, like very interesting, very uh, using a basketball uh, basketball court. So uh, maybe you have seen this earlier. is completely from uh, holographic lenses. And this as well. So it feels like like they have to see it using a particular uh, device, right? And uh, what I'm about to show you uh, is one of the products which is introduced by the uh, Microsoft very recent, uh, not like very recent, it's, it's in 2019, right? Uh, and just see, it's very uh, amazing to see what, what 
what they are doing, right? To be here in Las Vegas to present to you. Now, I get invited to do keynotes across the globe. And while it's easy for me to be here in Las Vegas, it isn't always easy for me to travel across the world. And even when I do, I can't always speak the local language. Well, what if neither language nor distance mattered for me to deliver a fantastic keynote? What if technology could help me be anywhere I needed to be and speak any language I wanted? Well, it can. We are bringing together the power of mixed reality and Azure AI services to create a truly game-changing experience. What you're about to see is an exact hologram of me wearing the same outfit that we recently captured at a mixed reality studio. And I don't speak Japanese, but what if I wanted to deliver my keynote in Japanese? Using Azure AI technology, I can translate my English into Japanese and train it to sound exactly like me, the same voice tones, those same inflections. Now we brought this together, my hologram and Azure AI, to show you what's possible. So first, I'm gonna put on my HoloLens 2 here, and then we'll flip in the room to the special camera so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Let's get started. Uh, then now remember people this is not uh, computer gimmicks right this is actually happening right now to a video edit it's it's just happening lively at that point right you can hear that the crowd will clap uh, for the presentation of her uh, right you will see that let me introduce you to Minnie Me. There she is, my perfect holograph. And thanks to the power of HoloLens 2, she just floats right with me. I'm literally holding my hologram, so natural. Now she's a little small to do a keynote. So let's get her up so she can do full-size Japanese keynote. Render keynote. ホログラムになることには本当に驚くべきことがあります。私たちは最新の複合現実キャプチャ技術を使用し、私のホログラムを作成しています。実在の人物をホログラムとして見たことがあるかもしれませんが、私が実際に日本語を話しているのが新しい
So now think about this, uh, like, like with, with this technology, a uh, one person can appear in many different places for the same time and deliver the same content in different languages, All right? So it is that capable when it comes to this particular uh, technology, All right? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, Lee and rights. It's uh, 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 still a device is not being able to uh, read our mind uh, fully, right? Uh, then, mama, that come more to university. Okay, I will talk about that. Body project, talk about you know, like uh, they have this uh, car which is being uh, controlled by the, uh, uh, the the thinkings of ours. Again, you go like a mole. It in a signals that may go track. All that you need, but it's just a very primitive uh, stage uh, regarding the uh, things are connected through the uh, uh, minds, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's from Mora uh, Danidu. Uh, I remember like it's like it's like not very recent. It, it is like two to three years back, as I remember. All right. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you uh, is another hologram, and then uh, this shows you what's the device is right. Uh, so let's see uh, how the hologram like. Like 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 uh, real time holograms. I mean, right? The metana up it a whole lens again. Nebe balaga na puru amen. So this is going to be a real time hologram, right? I did a story a while ago on a company called Hypervision, who created a device that can project a three D holographic display, and when these devices are linked together can display huge animated 3D holographic projections. And this system was called Hypervision Wall. Well, Hypervision has taken this technology one step further and created an interactive holographic display which they showed off at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2020. So far, the system has three uses, called Holographic Gaming, Hyperfaces and 3D Modeler. Holographic Gaming does exactly as the name suggests. You can play games on a 3D holographic display, but right now they only have Tetris, so don't expect to be playing Fortnite anytime soon. The second system is called Hyperfaces, and it looks like it's just for a bit of fun, where it shows your image with a fun face over the top, sort of like a 3D phone app. But the final system, called 3D Modeler, is what I wanted to talk about, as I have come across many companies trying to make an interactive holographic system, but they all use various glass domes or cylinders that the light can be reflected onto to give a holographic appearance. But Hypervision uses its Hypervision wall system and now turns it into something akin to what Tony Stark might use, where you can rotate, turn and pull apart 3D models floating in mid-air to see the various parts inside. And the best part? You can do it all with your bare hands and without any need for wearing special glasses or gloves. Now for all those who are still not sure what the Hypervision wall is and how it works, the company filmed one of the presentations at the CES 2020 show for me. And here it is. And I do want to kind of go through a little bit. Yes, uh, now before uh, proceeding this thing, uh, the things that you can see at the back, maybe those are fans. So using that, they are going to do the projection, right? Bit about what hypervision is. So let's look inside the tech a little bit uh, and see how it works. So first of all, we have the hardware and I have a unit here that is not operating right now, but you can see all the high intensity LEDs that are on the rays, there's four rays. And when the device starts spinning, it gets up to about 670 RPM. And when it does that, that's when the magic happens because then you see the image that's created in a 3D holographic image, but you do not see the medium that's delivering that image to your eyes because your eyes cannot track the blades anymore. And for that reason, 
that you have the, the magic of, of the hologram. That's a single solo unit. If you put them together, look what you can create up here. This is 60 units all put together and synchronized to a millisecond. Yeah, so me 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 agi uta pena meka setul karagan he uses sixty units of those kinds, right? So you can get very grandiose. I always get asked, how big can you go with this, right? How big is your wall? So if you can plug them in and you can put them together, you can keep going. So I'd, I'd like to have somebody out there uh, push the envelope. And, and see what they could do. Now we are a long way off creating the kind of technology we see Tony Stark use in the Iron Man movies. Because yeah, so like uh, no, 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 no. It's not overlapping, uh, Danito. They are like having separate distance, right? They are distance from each other. But together they are going to uh, uh, perform a one big picture, right? Eka hari dara LED wall eka ka LED tick eka tu ela eka picture ka khadana maha samana. The only difference is it is 3D and it's it's holograms. And I think you have seen that they could have, they had the ability to manage the hologram from their bare hands. They don't need any special glasses or special gloves or devices to do that just by the gesture, right? A gesture sensor, right? So uh, I'm talking about this particular uh, point. In here, right? Just by bare hand, right? to see the various parts Mr. the lady yes and the best like a part, hand just take with your bare hands and without any need for wearing special glasses or gloves right so the technology has grown up to that point and uh, still it's moving right so uh, yeah uh, let me show you the uh, how hard the uh, 3D movie making process. to the wilderness with Mr. No yeah. Oops, did I accidentally press the other one? Starting out with any new project management software usually feels something like this. Where do you even start? Right. Uh, <laughs> I design it. and every angle should be maintained Yeah. 
ਆਪਣੇ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰ ਦਾ ਪਲਾਨ ਕਰਨ ਵੀ ਦੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਇਨ ਹੈਂਡਲਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਸੌਫਟਵੇਅਰ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਸ ਮਗ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਹੈ ਕਦਮ ਆਈ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਕਰਗਾ so that is how the uh, graphic editing and the graphic design in 3d graphic design in is happening uh, let me show you the simulation programs as well If you have a little bit of anxiety around the idea of taking calculus, I would encourage you to give it a chance. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Looking down the runway, I'm going to push the throttles up. I would announce 100 knots. We're going to call V1. So my hands would come off the throttles. So what you can see back. There you go. Don't be afraid. From the front window, it is actually and a screen. A positive rate. And the gear's coming up. I'm not a pilot. But I just took off in an Airbus A320. Okay, so it's not an actual plane. Yeah, this is the simulator. The $20 million simulator is an exact replica of an A320 cockpit. And the technology inside of it makes it even more complex than the plane itself. Here at United Airlines Flight Training Center in Denver, Colorado, there are 31 flight simulators. Make at the Nikan Ada plane make at the actual angles here. Come the Vatic then. Training hubs in the world. All of United's 12,000 pilots come through here for initial training and return every 9 months to stay up to date on flight procedures and safety protocols. Captain Mike McCaskey has been a United pilot for 28 years and showed us what it's like to fly a commercial plane. Right, so you can see these things if you want uh, going through the uh, YouTube, right? Okay, I'm uh, moving forward. So next is the problems associated with the use of ICT. So when it comes to the problems, there are many different categories, all right? I ask people, uh, bef before we move into this particular uh, topic, let's uh, highlight the things, what we need to get down, right? There's nothing much. I'm not going to uh, uh, write the things regarding uh, this particular uh, examples or the points. So you can uh, put the heading ICT and society, right? Then, um, yeah. Yeah, you can uh, copy this particular sentence, two sentence are here. right so highlight that and then uh, write only the topics three dimensional holographic uh, image processing cartoon films it's better you say 3d cartoon films and digital audio materials digital games and simulation games right just uh, list them down you don't need to uh, write the uh, description regarding that right then we can move to the uh, this particular place problems associated with the use of ICT 
so like you like i said uh, there are many different uh, problems so we have uh, decomposed the problems into the uh, these uh, categories right it's like the legal issues uh, issues related to the values right and uh, physical problems harmful softwares environmental issues health related issues and social issues right so many different kinds right so we have to uh, work through all these things uh, during the lesson right okay so let's uh, it is first it is about the legal issues right now the legal issues means like when something like this is ha this has happened you can take the legal actions against that right so the person who have done or who have break the law will be charged according to the uh, the the clarity or the gravity of his uh, uh, doing right so when it comes to the uh, the first one is a data theft like like this means stolen the personal information right so we call it personal identifiable information pii right specifically it is identifiable information right manusya kanduna ganna puluwa like like the uh, uh, the names of the uh, person and the uh, telephone numbers photos right those kind of things uh, not that actually uh, uh, the credit card numbers and all these things it is not under the data theft right now data theft means stealing the uh, like personally identifiable information right like the photos contact numbers and all these things right email addresses right so that is called the data theft and uh, unauthorized access into computer systems right so uh, yeah just give me a second to plug this thing into the power jack yeah so like uh, this is again uh, like enter into a computer system uh, like with the uh, what with the idea of theft or with the idea of manipulating uh, this username and password of this computer all right so uh, through this the data can be stolen very easily right so uh, it is an illegal thing uh, in this society right and intellectual property rights now this intellectual property rights is not an legal issue right like intellectual property right kila kiyanne oya oya age nirmaneyaka oata thina aithiya that is something that protects the creator or the innovator of something Uh, by stolen from some other uh, person or some other institution and showing uh, that particular product uh, which has done by them like saying that that is done by them right so uh, if you have heard the word patent so the patent is uh, something that uh, gives the rights to a particular person or an institute Uh, for the production that they have innovated right so when you are having the patents you can uh, get the legal actions regarding the person who is misusing your creation right so then obolo godak vela ata copyrights kela hana they then uh, as an example if you are like uh, selling or distributing the uh, cds or dvds of a uh, particular license software uh, it's going to be a uh, category under this particular thing like so like uh, like selling distributing and uh, using without the permission of the creator is going to give you or it's going to press you the legal charges right so um, and the frauds now when it comes to the frauds it's like uh, uh, 
like dishonest mis misinterpretation right so like uh, uh, like trying to be someone else or like uh, trying to be represent someone else right etana de godak dewal dem udahana kidira company ekaka inna avuru hari kenek vidihata peni inna balimak right uh, they have to uh, create a fraud identity card they have to create the fraud procession right and uh, have to uh, represent or are going to convince that this is i am this particular person uh, by uh, giving this uh, what you call the uh like by providing the details right so it it misinterpret right the mama kiyena gihilla mama novela kenek gen kiyala kiyena mama thamai ya right so it's uh, related to the uh, this particular thing called frauds right and uh, yeah that is regarding the legal issues uh, let's highlight the things people uh, just confirm me is it clear for you all right great great okay so um, <clears throat> this is what you are going to write under the data uh, like under the legal issues first uh, it's better you say a problem associated with the use of ict right and then you have to uh, uh, draw this particular diagram so it will uh, clearly tell you what are the uh, uh, problems or issues that is happens due to the ict in the society right and then and then the legal issues right so then uh, under the legal issues uh, it's better you describe this thing mokada meka samaharala short note ahana right so like uh, have these subheadings data theft and uh, it's better you write the entire thing with the with the examples it's it's a little description regarding the data theft right and the please mark these things on your book right and uh, for the unauthorized access into computer system again you can uh, go with the entire thing unauthorized access into computer system and uh, copy the paragraph under it right and uh, intellectual property rights and i'll tell you uh, what to be written yeah so under the intellectual property rights write this first sentence into it right the very first uh, very first two first two first two uh, sentences and this uh, second uh, paragraph you have to copy so the first two sentences of the first paragraph and the second paragraph entirely right and uh, just this sentence as the final part of that right then regarding the frauds
Iya. Yeah. Yes, it's you have to go with the uh, two examples as well. So the things I have uh, highlighted from uh, on on the textbook here. So you have to note down those things. Right, then. Yeah, it's better you uh, write about the identity theft as well. Right, uh, because the frauds is something else. Something else means identity theft is a kind of a fraud, but you should know about it. Right, and uh, then we are going to come to the issues related to the values. So, one of the issue is called the plagiarism. Now, this uh, when it comes to the uh, uh, issues related to the values, these are not going to press you the charges, or you can't take legal actions uh, regarding this when it comes to the a plagiarism, it means you are uh, presenting someone else's work as your own. You go to the Wikipedia or some other site and just copy it and paste it. Right, so when you're doing that, uh, it is an unethical thing, right? Or oh, it's it's not good for your values. Pratipati Varata, it can go in it. Right, so it's better you uh, state from which person or from which side that you are referring these things. Then there won't be any ethical issues because you can do but you have to specify this is uh, done like by me, like uh, not by me. This is this is this is this, these contents are being taken from this particular. Uh, website or from this particular person, right? So, for that kind of things, we call citing. Cite karna akila kya Or else you can say, you can put quotes. So, you can have double quotes at the beginning and at the end as uh, uh, at the end of that particular content. And uh, the referencing. So, like, uh, in the uh, citing, we are not uh, like uh, giving all the details or like links and all these things on the citing, just telling, okay, this is being copied by www.starlabs.lk, that's all, right? But uh, when it comes to the referencing, it tells me, or like uh, uh, when, when, when we are having things from one, particular document to the other, you are given all the details from which website, in which paragraph, and where has the place and all these things, right? So that is what you call referencing, right? Okay, so under the uh, issues of values, plagiarism is the most important one uh, that they are talking about. So let's say the, topic as issues related to the values. That's going to be your topic, right? And uh, you put the subhead in plagiarism and copy the very first uh, sentence. And uh, yeah, and this thing, better accepted way refers to the correct use of such collected information without any way harming to the reputation of correction owner. This can be done by Kiloya Udaharnatrat Liara.
right so you have to highlight those things so you can uh, get down these things on your books right okay regarding the physical and logical issues people uh, have you uh, uh, marked the things so far is it okay yes let me have the response right great and uh, and as as like for your information there are places that can uh, uh, check the plagiarism uh, regarding a document right right so you can find it uh, as plagiarism checker right in most the most of the institutes which are giving the uh, high education they always uh, uh, telling their assignments when they are uh, giving an assignment to the people. So they specifically said, uh, attach a plagiarism report, right? So plagiarism report means you can uh, add the document that you have done and then that particular software or the web browser will search for these text very quickly and find out what are the places that have been copied as it is right so those uh, and and it, and it and it will it will show uh, what is the percentage of the plagiarism right so like institutes are expect, uh, uh, accepting uh, the plagiarism percentage something in between 1 and uh, 5% right so the, if it is larger than 5% you have to edit the document again and should make the uh, plagiarism report uh, with a much lower plagiarist activities, right? So like, uh, uh, document so it will scan and give the uh, how the report is, right? So those kind of things are being taken from the institutes now. So even you, specifically when you go for the higher education, it's called Impasse uh, Institutes, they will do this. Right. So then uh, physical and logical issues. Now in the physical and logical issues, it's talking about uh, like uh, here it's talk about the physical and logical issues and later they have given you the uh, solutions for these things right now this physical and logical issues means the, uh, the issues that a, a person can cause physically uh, as well as logically can physically uh, someone have to harm the computer it should be something physical right when it comes to the logical issues, uh, it is uh, something done logically again. Malware, right? Uh, virus attack spread, right? And uh, username, password, change the state, right? Those kind of things. Those are happen in the logical manner, right? So, and, and the, uh, not only a person, even from the environment, we can have physical uh, damages to our computer, right? So the uh, loss of uh, power connection can be uh, uh, protected using the UPS. You know what the UPS is now, uninterrupted power supply. So <clears throat> with the help of uh, UPS, you will be able to uh, like save the data that you have done uh, due to a power failure and uh, uh, shut down the computer. Uh, like it, it should be done with little quick manner because UPS will hold the uh, computer for five to 10 minutes maximum, right? So meanwhile, you have to save the things and uh, uh, like you have to shut down the computer, 
right? With the help of UPS. And uh, when you are having uh, the hardware firewalls, it will protect particularly a network, right? Network is protected against the hardware firewall hardware right? So whatever the details that is going to flow to the network, right? So whatever the details that is going to flow to the network should come through the firewall first. So firewall has said what to be taken in and what to be what what to be taken in and not, right? So firewall will check is this an authorized things to be uh, authorized things to be sent to the uh, network or not? So on that uh, firewall decides. Uh, to provide the details to the network or not. Right, as well as a uh, uh, firewall can be there as a software as well. You know. If you take any computer, just type the firewall and you can see the uh, software firewall in your computer. Now this is regarding the uh, protection, right? Uh, it's not doing the uh, uh, the functions of a virus guard or antivirus software, huh? but uh, some things which are uh, related to that. Specifically, when it comes to the network inside, it's the firewall that is helping you, right? Uh, virus guard and uh, antivirus software are for the uh, particular one, particular PC, right? Okay, and uh, you can use the most traditional way, uh, like uh, locking the uh, uh, things uh, that you don't need to access by others in a locked room, right? Uh, specifically, when it comes to the server room of a, a software firm, not everyone is allowed to go inside. It's only the server administrator and uh, some uh, people who have the uh, idea about what's going on uh, in this room. So, right. so likewise, from the computer, the things that to be done from the computer should be uh, uh, locked inside a particular room, right? So it's a traditional way of giving this physical security. And the CCTV, closed circuit television. So uh, it is again monitoring the things. And people will uh, have this idea, or like they will scare to do things when the uh, CCTVs are pointed at them, right? So we can easily court those people. And the search protector. So the search protector is the uh, one which gives the product, uh, protection uh, from a high voltage or any uh, voltage uh, imbalance, right? So it won't let the entire voltage or the big current flows to the uh, uh, computer. Instead of that, it will uh, have that uh, power inside it and uh, maintain the high voltage, right? And uh, finally, it's the environmental factors, right? You can name both an abhoma sarva kira and yamne computers tiena tena parisan, right? It should be properly maintained, dust shouldn't be there, right? So the computer should be cleaned and uh, uh, should be maintained in a proper manner, right? Those kind of things are told through the environmental factors, right? You don't encourage for you to use a monitor on that kind of a environment. Right. <coughs> so uh, let me see what to be written. Physical and logical issues in that
years. Now this doesn't uh, clarify what the uh, physical and logical issues. Uh, yeah, go with this. Careless use of computer is likely to bring about both physical and logical issues. Right? That's the first sentence of your note. And the second sentence is going to be and I have the uh, left. Yeah, like just write in the very first sentence, uh, like very first means the one that I have highlighted, then you can go for the physical security, right? So when you, uh, under that, again, we are not going to describe these things, just write the headings, un uninterrupted power supply, the first one. Uh, second one is the hardware firewall, right? And the uh, third one is going to be the, uh, this particular thing, control access uh, through the locked doors, so CCTV and search protect. So just, just list those things down, right? You don't need to write the, uh, things because it is happening everywhere, right? Okay, so um, next is about the logical security. So as I told you, logical security can be given uh, using the username and a password at the initial stage. So all of your devices, right? If you, if you take a mobile device, okay. Uh, we are not going to uh, keep it without a security. Some kind of things are being there. Right, so password is one of those, right? Because you need to know the password to log into the system. And uh, software firewalls, we discuss about this, uh, as I told you. Uh, it is regarding the network security, right? Most of the cases. And backups. And backups can be uh, uh, taken in many different ways. You can keep a backup at the same computer in a different drive. You can have a backup to a CD or DVD or optical uh, drive and uh, uh, you can back up your data to the cloud as well. Internet cloud, the Google cloud service. So which is going to be the very safest place uh, for your data in the cloud storage, right? Uh, and again, it will give you the advantages of not to store things in your computer and all these things. Right, then uh, malicious software and malware. I think we have discussed this, right? So I'm not going to discuss it again. I'm just uh, going to walk through uh, how the things are going to happen. Before that, uh, let's highlight the things uh, regarding the uh, logical security. Yes, in under the subtopic logical security, you can provide these things. Right, don't go for the uh, description part, just write the ready headings. Write the password, software firewalls, write backups and all these things. And uh, yeah, yeah, that will be uh, all for the uh, that particular topic. Right, then the malicious software or malware, and we know malicious software or malware is there to harm to your computer, right? If you're given the access or if they gain the access without the knowledge of ours, it will comes into the uh, computer and uh, jeopardize everything, right? So there are many different kinds of viruses, right? And uh, those like uh, those things will affect on the computer as they said in here, right? It will decrease the efficient efficiency uh, because uh, 
virus is the one who is acting inside the uh, computer in a very frequent manner. And uh, inability to, sorry, destruction uh, or mail function of the software, yes. So like, uh, uh, email open because we don't know who has sent that to us. Right, so likewise, uh, it's not giving you to install new software, some of the uh, things when it, when it get affected, right? So those kind of things are there, right? Uh, and it will weaken the hardware because it is working uh, on that uh, frequently. Sabotage of computer network, definitely if it is network, it can uh, walk through the network without a doubt. And uh, data theft and uh, damages, yes. Right, uh, these uh, stolen thing, or stolen things from there, and uh, damaging the uh, uh, computer is there as well. Right. So the next is about the uh, computer viruses. I'll go through it. You don't need to write all these things, but uh, as per the very first one write the malicious software and malware. <laughs> right, and then, uh, yeah, you can uh, write it from here with the collection of these points. And you can stop it right over here. Right, so please mark. It is uh, starting from the second sentence of this paragraph. And uh, <coughs> you can have the uh, subheading called harmful software and uh, result and damage, don't uh, put the result and damage, say harmful software only. So you can uh, list down these things. Computer viruses, computer worms, spyware likewise. Uh, downwards this table, uh, just finish those things. You don't need to write the uh, specification, remember. Right, but I'm going to, uh, yeah, remind these things periodically. On that, in those cases, you should have what it is. And the, uh, uh, yeah, once you are doing that, uh, yes, you don't need this, uh, what we call the description, just list down it, just list down it. I was thinking whether we need to have it or not. Okay, so safeguarding part, so they say uh, installing antivirus software, like when careful uh, using the USB memories and uh, careful when you are opening the uh, things, right, or the emails uh, through the email account. And uh, yeah, uh, always installing the uh, authorized softwares, right? Those things will prevent you having the viruses because for those kind of processes or for those kind of uh, programs, they have their own and uh, he know how to maintain it. So he's not uh, uh, like having the things uh, in a different manner, right? <clears throat> yeah, so what you are going to write down here is uh, you take the uh, safeguarding computer and computer uh, uh, networks from harmful software and uh, you have to copy the entire thing, right? It says how it does. <laughs> and this, uh, yeah, so like uh, in the internet, these are the ways that you are going to protect your computer, access the secure websites, check URL for verification, right? And 
you get download the things from a, web, a secure website. Then you can have the confidence that uh, these have been downloaded by a genuine uh, uh, website, right? And uh, when it is, uh, before it downloads, you can check it from the virus guard. Now, uh, in the Gmail uh, facility, on your email account, they are giving us these kind of uh, facilities. They call them a uh, virus scan color, they know. In case if they can't scan it, they will show you a message. Sorry, uh, do it manually. We won't be able to do it automatically. Right, and uh, uh, be careful of opening emails. This is regarding the spam emails, right? If you have an attraction there, be careful, right? Uh, <coughs> we never know, like, email there is no doubt we can just open it, but it is from someone else and we don't know what the content is going to be, right? And uh, yeah, avoid suspicious advertisement and images and do not enter the personal information without checking on the security. And uh, yeah, it says use firewall, virus guard and email uh, filters to avoid the risk, right? So that, of course, should be written to the uh, to your book as well. Meetika Hanna Pulwang. Right, the one I have uh, highlighted in blue. Right. And you don't need to list down the uh, some security uh, like related virus guards or like the antivirus softwares, you don't need a list of those, so you know about those things, so don't worry. All right, we are coming to the very end. Uh, it is talking about agencies in Sri Lanka responsible for the security information exchange, right? So uh, it, the, the institute called ICTA, right? Uh, information and Communication Technology Agency is taking care of these things, right? And uh, there are many different uh, uh, agencies as well, which provides the services and uh, which will track down the uh, suspicious things and uh, uh, give you the uh, confidence uh, of the security when you are using the uh, network system or like a computer, right? And uh, this there is this term called cyber security right so it is like uh, the previous line uh, explains it sri lanka is yeah sri lanka is no exception on a hollow it's 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 a continuation of the other one Oh, hold on a minute. There is a problem. Yeah, they are talking about this uh, threats are being there in Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, we have to uh, protect it, uh, protect our data. Uh, from these uh, threats. So it is called the cyber security part, right? So, and uh, they, they are talking about the ICTA as well. Uh, it is the one which provides the services for the citizens, business establishments and state in institutions, right? And uh, yeah. There is this uh, term called ISMS, which is called the uh, Information Security Management System. This was introduced by the ICTA recently uh, to uh, have these things, have, have the collections uh, of a particular scenario. Right, so before we go to the health issues, uh, agencies willing over until the other and the PMA.
yeah so like uh, how i'm going to do this Mm -hmm. You can directly go for there here. Institute Institution for Information Security of Sri Lanka, right? And uh, just this down up to this point. Yeah, as well as the last point is also important about this information system. Right, so please mark those things, right? You have to write a lot of things like uh, last week. So please mark it. And if you, if, you are, if you are given the book to keep to yourself, so you can just uh, mark it on the book because you are not, if you're not going to return it. Right, and uh, in the very last one, they are talking about health issues and uh, yeah, health issues which are related to the uh, uh, ICT, right? Uh, so we have discussed this when we are uh, having the, uh, uh, when we are discussing the exam papers. So the musculoskeletal problems, uh, it is because of the bad posture, right? Put you where the video in the game in the Latamayo Prashna at the name. And again, uh, the lack of exercise, due to lack of exercise, uh, this can be a rise, right? Uh, and the uh, RSI, repetitive stress injury. So it is because of the uh, numerous work that you are doing uh, without any help, uh, right? So it will uh, cause the things. Uh, relax when the uh, break the So we are doing it continuously. So which will uh, lead you to a RSI, repetitive. Uh, stress injuries and the next one is the carpal tunnel syndrome cts in in smaller words right so uh, it is it is a problem which happens to your wrist because of the incorrect uh, posture that, that you are maintaining when you are typing and using the mouse so your uh, arm should be rest on somewhere right then only the uh, uh, like when you're when you are resting your arm, it's only the fingers and all these things which are operating the uh, computer, right? So you are not going to touch your wrist or you are not going to pressure, uh, put an extra pressure on your wrist uh, with the incorrect posture, right? So this is called CTS and this can affect both the sides. You can manage cut away. Right? And the CVS computer vision syndrome, that is something uh, uh, that happens to our eyes due to the uh, uh, long-term uh, interaction with the screen, right? So you will be getting headaches. Sometimes your eyes are get red, right? And uh, like uh, you will uh, feel some uh, uh, undescribable type of headaches due to this. So what you're going to do is uh, for these type of things, there are some medications as well. And there are some uh, things that you can do. Like uh, when you are working with the computer for a long time, like for a long time means like after a half, each and every half an hour, just uh, uh, look at something uh, very far, far from you, right? That will relax the, uh, what we call the, uh, uh, eyes and eye, uh, uh, eye muscles, right? And uh, there are many things that is caused due to the CVS, so get to know about that, as well as headaches. It is, it is a, a side effect of the CVS as well, as well as when you are start staring at something for a long time, it gives you a headache. And stress, of course, as I told you, no, not to be uh, described very uh, again and again. Uh, it is because of the heavy workload that we are carrying out. And uh, later they will show 
how to avoid these things. And here it says the proper way of uh, using the screen or the computer. Right, so uh, the monitor should be uh, over the eye level. Eye level should be like uh, at the very beginning. Screen right? So, uh, anyway, your eyes, your screen should be something lower than the, the screen. Uh, sorry, the screen should be something lower than the eyes, and the distance in between monitor and the eyes should be a proper one, right? And uh, it says 45 to 70 centimeters centimeters right so you should be distance like that and uh, as you can see here they are resting their arm and uh, put in or like doing the things and uh, your feet should be on the floor uh, when you are doing the uh, when you are uh, working with the computer otherwise or in the summer without a put to a gap in the kind of book on the very edge, put to some lot of other than nothing or reason. So it's better you maintain the correct posture, right? All right. So uh, regarding this, yeah, just write the heading: health issues related to the information and communication technology then you can uh, list down these things. You're not going to write the uh, paragraph, just say musculoskeletal uh, problem, RSI, repetitive stress injury, CVS, computer vision syndrome, right? Those type of things, just list it down. So when you're listing it down, you should remember what we are talking about, right? So for that, I'm not going to Fill your books by the notes, so it's from the important parts that you have. All right, people, so the uh, that's all the time we got to discuss today. So we are left with uh, some very little parts. So I'm going to discuss it by next week and we'll move to the uh, lesson right and uh, move to the papers right so <clears throat> people keep the things up and uh, people who have not done the 2015 paper please do it we are going to discuss it by next week right uh, and I'm, i need to do a paper with you now papers right so otherwise it will blow right okay people so thank you very much for coming have a nice weekend right and uh, i'll meet you on the very same time on next saturday as well right thank you very much thank you sir okay thank you sir okay